Hey, this is Alava and welcome to a short preview of the new features in our new version of Platoon, which is 2.0. Uh, we redesigned the complete displace engine and uh, implemented some very, very cool and useful features to do some stunning effects like you see here. Um, you can now uh, shatter your footage, which could be text or masks or whatever, uh, inside uh, After Effects and uh, you can achieve some cool um, organic uh, uh, shattered displays of your footage. Uh, we use that in a motion picture thing we use, uh, we're working on right now, which is uh, some kind of holographic portal behind this uh, old wizard. And uh, let's have a look how easy it is to achieve this effect. I go here and make a new composition and then we make a new solid, call it PG or whatever. Then I need a texture on that, for that I use uh, Platoon. So I can texturize my solid. I click on this texture here to use my texture library, which is always inside Platoon. You can import that, uh, your own footage, whatever you like. In this, uh, in this case, I use my footage, which I took on my uh, mobile device with Adobe's Capture CC, which is automatically synchronized to your library. So each picture you take on your mobile device, you will have that pattern inside Platoon. Uh, let's use this one, for example. And I will scale that down to, let's say, 10%. That gives me this uh, wonderful pattern here. And the next thing is I use a mask and draw a rough shape here around this. Something like that, as you see. And then I go to my mask settings and put mask 1 into uh, the mask channel of Platoon. And this is all I need for the pattern. Next is I go to my uh, Turbulence Engine, which is the old one. We will still implement a new one there, but we will see that in a further tutorial. So for that, I know I'd like to have a Turbulence Frequency of 2, and I know that I want to have the, evol uh, the auto animation speed also to 2%. That's all I need to achieve in the Turbulence Engine. And I go to my Displace Engine. I make this place active and also use a mask for this place and uh, I bring up the progress to let's say 80 and you see it will displace my pixels from inside the mask to a, uh, to a specified direction this is my direction center and you can uh, yeah put that to whatever size you like and you see how fast the rendering will be and for that I Put it into the middle because I like to have a radial displays. And uh, the next thing is I'd like the size at the end at 10 and on the start on 2%. And I'd like to achieve the end of our pixels, so the distance end will be something around, let's try 10. Uh, let's go even more down, let's say 5, 2, Try and error, and I will bring bring down the pixel size at the end. Let's say five. That looks cool. So, right now, as you see, the displays is uh, catching the patterns from the background. But I'd like to have a displacement from our turbulence. So I go to my displays mode, uh, displays intensity, and I go to turbulence, which gives me this result. And uh, now you see it got some kind of turbulence looking and I'd like to change the pixel shape. For right now we have squares and I'd like to change the shape. The new shape engine is also um, uh, customizable so you can import your own shapes. Um, for example, if you'd like to have crosses instead of uh, um, rectangles, you will see you have little crosses here me increase the pixel size a bit back to 10. Now I see the little crosses here and the display starts at let's say 5 and uh, let's say I'd like to have this bubble here and this gives me this result which is quite cool and because our turbulence uh, field is auto animated you got 
the right animation here going on. Okay, so this is how simple it is to achieve this effect. And uh, yeah, you can put some glow on that. You can increase the uh, distance uh, uh, end, for example, to let's say four. Now it looks like this. You can play with the uh, uh, pixel uh, size, start end. You can play with the alpha curve. Um, here we go. So on the end of each uh, animation, let's say progress to zero and sorry the alpha end will be zero so everything is animated by using one uh, one slider okay and what we also have uh, which is a quite cool feature is uh, let me bring this back to 100 um, you can blend these uh, particles let's say um, add now you get these highlighted outlines with, which gives uh, all a bit more organic looking and we implemented this uh, overlay mode. And if you switch that for, to circle, for example, and you play with the overlay strength, you see you can animate that from inside out by using only this uh, overlay strength modifier. Okay? So, for example, you put a stopwatch here on frame one and go to two seconds and put that all the way to, let's say, 100%. Type that. And have a look this is what it will look like it's quite amazing to give him a good finish simply put a glow on that and play with the threshold and the radius let's bring the threshold a bit up something like that and the radius a bit up like so and make a copy String D and bring the radius all the way up, the threshold down. So we've got these nice glowing things here going on. And if you like, you can make another copy and bring the radius all the way up. So you got the glow field around that. And if you like to, you can make a copy of this background layer, string D on a keyboard, put the transfer mode to screen. And uh, let's uh, bring up the uh, particle uh, distance end to, let's say, 10. Or you go even more, let's say, 20. And the end to 20. Here we go. Even the size a bit up, 30. And the start size to, let's say, 10. And uh, let's bring the first glow down and the second one also, uh, sorry, down means up, sorry. The second one also to adjust the glow. This one also. And now to give him a real finished look, I put a blur underneath that and crank that up like so put it under my first layer set that to screen and bring the opacity down Here we go. Now you got this nebula field and the particles together. Uh, it's all animated. It looks uh, very, very um, spacey or cool. Um, yeah, these are a few features of uh, new Platoon version 2.0. Make sure to visit uh, aescripts.com uh, to, to get the news and the release date. And uh, hope you enjoy uh, Platoon and uh, see you in the next tutorial or in the next overview. Thank you. Bye.